Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be giving you 10 steps you need to take in order to move out of your parents' house. Save. Save as much as you can. Expect for the absolute worst. And this will definitely come in handy just in case something comes up and you are needing money. You definitely have a savings set aside that can assist you. My ideal of a savings, I highly recommend that you at least have a thousand dollars set aside prior to moving out. Budget. Make sure you write down every expense that you have on a monthly basis compared to your monthly income and each expense that you have you need to make it more like a deduction so you would deduct every expense from your monthly income and then you can kind of get an idea of what your price range would be when you start to go apartment shopping or condo shopping and that will definitely help you with finding a place that you can actually afford my number one thing when it comes to budgeting you definitely need to have an expense for yourself which means that expense for yourself would go to your savings so for an example I have a bill and I label it Kiana that means that the money I set aside for this particular bill it's like any other bill like a light bill a phone bill it's in my name the bill is called Kiana and that is the amount that I put into my savings every month I look at myself my savings account as a bill so I include that into my monthly expenses buy everything that you possibly can while you're living at home do not wait until you move out to buy the things that you truly need i wanted to have everything so that when i did move out and i started paying rent it wouldn't be such a burden on myself so if i were to do it all over again i would have bought more stuff i honestly would have went out and got maybe a storage unit i would have bought everything that i needed first and then even the things that i may have wanted or desired during that time I definitely would have put it in a storage unit when it came time for me to actually move out I had everything that I needed I didn't need or want for anything should you roommate that is definitely a decision that you're gonna have to make for yourself I decided to roommate and honestly I feel like if you guys have respect for each other roommating can be a good thing you know you're splitting your bills you're, you're splitting expenses to where it makes it more comfortable for you so it's not as stressful um, if you are not one of those people that can get along with other people I highly recommend that you do not roommate I only recommend roommating for someone who can get along with other people who can adjust to getting along with other people it's just it's not it's not just getting along with someone it's more of adjusting to someone else and it's more of wanting to get along with someone else in making your living situation work for both of you you always have to think like this is benefiting me in so many ways we're able to split the cost of living and we have the freedom of being out on our own and being able to do the things that we want to do as long as you keep those things those key things in mind while roommating and while rooming with someone it can definitely be easier on you and the person that you're living with apartment hunting or condo hunting whatever get out there and really start looking the internet is your best friend when I started apartment hunting I was looking at apartment guide I also looked on Craigslist you definitely have to be careful with Craigslist maybe able to find houses on there for rent so definitely get out there and start hunting it's not it's never too soon to start calling different apartment places and getting prices seeing if maybe they offer a move-in special or something like that get out there start apartment hunting start looking and definitely start asking questions research on the area definitely something I wish I would have done more of I felt like I really didn't research that well on the area that I had moved to and I'm referring to my previous apartment it was my first apartment and I feel like I really didn't do enough research on the area so definitely do your research on the area that you live in you want to feel safe at night you want to feel safe during the day you just want to be able to lay your head down at night and feel comfortable in the area do not rush the process you could definitely end up somewhere that you don't want to be you could definitely end up in a lease that is complete shit so do not rush the process 
take your time do the research find something that you love and if you have a roommate find something that you both can agree on for a place to live just don't want to end up somewhere and be stuck in a lease that you literally cannot get out of for an entire year or more depending on the lease you're signing so make sure you read the lease that you're signing because they have all types of different kind of lease out there they have short term they have long term and so you just don't want to be caught in a situation under an agreement under contract with a leasing company and you can't get out of it or that you got out of it too soon and now you are like out on the street and you have nowhere to live so you definitely want to research and do not rush the process when you budget you definitely need to apply or you need to include any sort of increase when it comes to rent or any unexpected expenses don't move out and you're literally like this is all that you have set aside and all of your expenses like you have no breathing room I should say so all of your expenses pretty much like cut even with your monthly income you do not want that if it's coming to if it's coming so close to where you don't have any breathing room you don't have any room within your budget to where you can expect or you can include unexpected expenses or increases within your budget you definitely need to reevaluate your budget and what you can afford if it's literally like across the board takes up all of your income including the rent that you set aside for the amount that you're thinking that you can pay on a monthly basis i highly recommend that you go back and you relook at your budget because you may have you know not budgeted correctly or you may be setting yourself up for failure and then also with moving out if you are a first time renter typically they ask for you to pay for first month and last month's rent plus a deposit so definitely look at all of the different fees that you may have prior to moving in going back to number two on my list when i say budget you need to make a monthly income budget and then you need to make a moving budget so you should have two budgets that you need to include in the process of you moving out be a hundred percent sure that you are ready to move out you need to be absolutely sure that you can move out if you feel like you can't afford it do not force it wait and make sure that you're making the right decision at the right time do not rush moving out because like i said before you don't want to be in a leasing contract that you cannot get out of and that you cannot afford because that can definitely mess up your credit so make sure you are 110 percent sure that you are ready to move out you don't want to have to rely on your parents to help you pay rent you just want to be 100 percent independent and you don't want to rely on anyone that also includes a roommate so if you are moving out you also need to include your roommate's portion of rent if you cannot afford your portion plus your roommate's portion of rent plus the utilities and everything else that's needed or included in the rent you definitely need to really think long and hard whether or not you should move out so don't rush the process be patient and yes moving out is a beautiful thing it does come with a lot of responsibilities but i definitely feel like they're you know there's just so many benefits with living on your own so i definitely feel like i would if i had the choice if i <laughs> if i definitely had the choice of moving back home i would not just because i i just like the freedom i like being independent i like just being on my own and being able to do things when i want to do them and I honestly just like the freedom. Please take these 10 tips into consideration when moving out of your parents' home. If you have any additional questions, please comment down below. If you have any tips that you want to give to the next person regarding moving and things that they should expect, comment down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!